Today, we're gonna do a one month review on mining Duno coin. I'm gonna show you exactly how much I made, how much energy it costs, and a whole lot of different other examples of what you can do, what you can expect to earn, and a few tips at the end. If you really like this content, please consider subscribing, drop a like, and let's jump right into the video. So let's start from the beginning. When you invest in DunoCoin, firstly, you have to buy some boards. In my case, I've bought some ESP 8266s. In total, I bought 16 of them, which lent me to a total of 76 euros, that is. The average price of one is around three to four euros. It kind of depends where we live, but I've paid around that price. So the total of 16 ESPs is 76 euros. On electricity, I almost pay zero to nothing. It's uh, 1.5 cents per year. These boards require really little amount of energy. So uh, the electricity bill isn't really there. I mean, one and a half cents a year is pretty doable. So my total comes up to 76 and about one cent. Let's move over to profits. As you can see, I'm mining around 55 Dunos a day. It's an average. It kind of depends on what rig you're using, how many boards you're using. Uh, also with Kolka, it's a, a code run into the program where you pay uh, like a percentage of what you mine to the Kolka and it like goes from the first boards, first four, four, I think the first four boards you have are like 100% and then it goes step by step with 4%. So the fifth would be 96%. Based on that, I mine around between 50 and 60. So I took 55 as the average, which would me, uh, make me around 5 cents a day. If you go to weekly, it's 385, it's like 40 cents a day. And this has to be considered that the price would stay the same in this example. Uh, monthly, it's uh, 1,650 and yearly, I make around 20,000 Ducos. So based on that, I make around 21 euros a year. Now, this is not a lot. Uh, it means I'm, my estimated return of investments is around three and a half years. But then again, it's a concept of the Duno coin. Uh, they want to like emphasize to not use rigs that are really powerful. So it's not a coin where you can expect major profits. It's just a fun little project if you want to learn some code. If you want to just play around, those things look amazing. So it's just you messing around with how code works, how miners work. So then to get 21 euros of investment back, it's just a nice bonus. I mean, I would have done it any other way, even if there's not a bonus. So uh, there you go. It's 21 euros a year for 16 ESPs. As you can see on the left in this a little configuration. You can see exactly how my miners operate. So my mining hash rate is around an average of 10.1 kilohertz a second with a difficulty of 900. The thing to note is that in this month that I've mined, the difficulty was first 300. Uh, there's been some changes to the code. They've upped the difficulty in general I think of mostly every board, but I can only speak for the ESPs. And I went from 300 to 900. I haven't seen any drop off in actually the amount of Duco I mine. So this is just something to, uh, to be aware of. This might change in the future, I don't know yet. And uh, obviously the re rejected percentage is some of the hashes that you mine might get rejected. I'm not entirely sure how, but uh, it's around 0.1% uh, per board over like, I don't know, maybe 200,000 hashes. So it's really nothing. You're probably not going to notice it. And it's just, it's just there. You just have to live, live with it, I think. Then on the bottom right, you can see my, uh, my average hash rate and my Ducos. 
Well, my hash rate stays like the same almost every time. It's really consistent. These boards just produce almost the same as like a month ago. They just keep going. And I haven't had any issues with that. Also, you can see in the black line there, you can see that uh, this is how you get paid the Ducos. It goes up, then it goes slowly down and then goes up and slowly down. And you can see that it's around 55. It's somewhere between 50 and 60. And that's on an average. I am usually mine around 50, 60. So that brings me to a total of 21 euros a year and around five cents a day. Also very important is the Discord. If you have problems with your ESPs or your uh, Raspberry Pis, there's a help channel where you can just type in your questions. There's a lot of people that know a lot of things about the code or about the boards. They can totally help you out with any problem you might have. Also, if you just want to chat, if you just want to like go back and forth with people about how code could be improved or maybe show your own mining rigs that's totally doable in the discord uh, it's a great community there's around i think there's around 8000 people in the discord right now so it's really growing i feel like there's like new people in there for almost like 50 a day maybe now it's really growing which is amazing and uh, also a fun thing in the Discord, there's uh, giveaways. Uh, giveaways happen maybe, I don't know, once a week, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. And the, the giveaways give you a chance to actually win Duno coin. Some Duno coin giveaways are like a hundred. There's also like 10,000 Dunos giveaway, which makes it really attractive to actually join them. I myself won once with uh, 2,000 Dunos. That's why my balance is over 3,000 Dunos right now. But uh, I'm keeping uh, keep mining consistently, which you should definitely do. And after that, you can just lay back, hang out. These things don't make any noise, so uh, you won't even know they are there. It's just really nice to look at. As you probably can see, if you haven't already in my previous video where i set up my boards it's just really pretty uh, i've mounted them in my computer case they match the color scheme of my pc so it's just pretty to look at and then again they also give you a little bit of money so that's probably about everything you need to know about uh what it takes to mine duno and what you can expect within a month also, I would uh, really, con again, consider joining the Discord because in the Discord also there are announcements of updates on the boards. Um, I don't know how many, maybe one or two a year, but it's really important to update your boards once a new uh, update comes out because the previous updates would get cancelled within like two months, something like, uh, maybe two weeks even. So it's really important to do the updates because otherwise after two weeks your boards wouldn't be mining again so that's probably the most important part uh the best tip is just join the discord that's it's so much fun a lot of good people a lot of giveaways a lot of help a lot of nice mining rigs and this is probably the best uh, profit you can uh, expect i also had a little insight that the the owners and some of the developers are working on better trading platforms so it makes it easier to trade within people or actually exchange your dunos which is awesome because uh, you have to consider that this is a project run by really young people actually I think they're around 18 years old and they just set this up as good as they can and it works amazingly I mean, there's some tweaks and bobs somewhere. I mean, that's what you can expect. It's probably like they have to learn as well. And that's totally fine. Maybe if you guys are uh, good at code or you know some stuff about it, you can help them out. Uh, maybe they can help you out. It's just we all try to help each other. And that makes for a great experience mining Duco. So that's about everything. 
if you really like what you see, please visit my previous video if you haven't already. You can see how to set it up. Uh, it shows you how to get into Duno Coin. And maybe I'll do uh, another update within a month or something like that. So you can see what's new, what's changed. And maybe I get some few tips. Maybe get some insiders from some owners or developers where I can help you just to get your setup uh, ready for mining. Or maybe if you have questions on problems with code or whatever, you can always type it into the comments or you can message me on Discord, which would be the link in the description. I also put the link of the Discord in the description so you can join and uh, hopefully have an amazing time mining Duno. So again, thank you guys for watching and I hope this uh, video has been entertaining and learned something about it and hopefully I'll catch you in the Discord. Ciao.